Egypt. Sisi, пожалуйста. Abdel Fattah Al Sisi, please. Shukran Fakhamt Al Rais. Thank you very much, Your Excellency, President of the Russian Federation, in the name of Allah, Rais Russia, the Tahrir, Rais Osman Ghazali. Your Excellency, President of the Russian Federation, Vladimir Putin, the Excellency, President of the Chairman of the African Union, Mr. Osmani, Your Excellency, Heads of State and Government, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, I would like to express my gratitude to the President of the Russian Federation, Vladimir Putin, for the warm hospitality and the great organization of the Second Russia-Africa Summit. The first summit, as we know, was organized in 2019, and we believe that this was an important event for the establishment of partnership between Russia and the Conference of the African Continent. Today's summit takes place in a most complicated international situation since we are witnessing the polarization of various forces and their influence on the entire system of international relations. The African countries have a bit in the construction of solid infrastructure for their further development. And we are also concerned about the matters of peace and security. This is exactly why our countries are trying to do everything to use the resources at their disposal to achieve such goals. Ladies and gentlemen, Egypt has always pioneered initiatives in these areas. Peace between the strong powers shall be based on the principles of justice. This has always been our strategic choice. We firmly believe that strength is in the truth and in logic and not the other way around. Sure, we have our own opinion on what is happening today, and this is important for further development of our strategic partnership. First of all, the African countries should use their sovereignty. They should speak out in favor of peace, justice, sustainable development. Secondly, we shall always adhere to the same position regarding all the complicated issues that we are facing today within the United Nations, including the matters of peaceful settlement of the existing crisis. We should also carefully consider the reasons and the origins of the conflicts and their influence on peace and security. We also need to closely consider the issues related to the impact of international sanctions on one country or another. We should take into account the goals of development of African countries in light of the challenges that these countries face. We should take into account the issues of food security, growing food prices. That is why we need to swiftly find a solution to food supplies issue, supplies to developing countries, and we need to bear in mind all the relevant issues. Naturally, we need to build consensus on the Green Deal, and we need to take into account the needs of all the countries as well as the repercussions of this situation for many countries and peoples. As for the stance of the African countries, 
ولن يعرفون أن تطلع مثل أن تحظى المطالب الإنتقالية في طار مجموعة الإنتقالية وكذا مساعد here, financing issues are very important and Russian support to African countries. The documents that we adopt today at the summit are crucial to define our strategic partnership, let alone the vast prospects that are opening up in light of the development of our cooperation. And it also meets our common interest. Certainly, the areas of economic cooperation and the attention that we pay to industrialization, agriculture, infrastructure, it is all very important for our cooperation with Russia. Taking into account the historic ties between our peoples, let me avail myself of this opportunity to state that Egypt is ready to contribute to deepening our strategic interaction, building upon the principles that we agree on. We are also ready to step up ties between our companies and Russian enterprises with regard to the interests of our region. We need to take into account the efforts of the African Union as well as all the steps to restore our economy, to develop our economy and to strengthen peace and stability in our continent. By way of concluding, let me thank the Russian Federation and Vladimir Putin personally for this summit, for organizing this event. We hope that this summit will yield the desired result for the benefit of peace and progress. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Your Excellency, Mr. President. Relations between Russia and Egypt over the past decades have been strategic. That is a simple fact.